welcome back to a new episode on chemistry made easy with bright edu in today's video lesson i'll be teaching on a very interesting and important topic for jam exam now this is on solubility but we'll be focusing on the calculations on solubility now you can see this solubility solubility can be expressed in two SI units. The first of them is calculating solubility in moles per dm cube and also calculating solubility in grams per dm cube. So how do we calculate solubility in moles per dm cube? How do we calculate solubility in grams per dm cube? Very easy. So let us quickly talk about calculating solubility in moles per dm cube. Now to do that, we simply use this formula. Solubility in moles per dm cube is equal to a formula. And what is that formula? It is mass over molar mass times volume. Now, in this case, the volume should be in dm cube. This is something we should take note of. Whenever we are solving solubility, question and basically the volume is in dm cube we go with this formula so we have another formula if we don't have to use this we can simply say solubility in moles per dm cube will not be equal to mass times 1000 now you can see we are adding 1000 to the formula so what does it mean it means that the volume should be changed from dm cube to cm cube so basically it becomes mass times eight thousand over molar mass over molar mass times volume but now in this case the volume should be in cm cube now you can see how this formula works so you can see the first concept calculating solubility in moles per dm cube and these are the formulas to be applied now let's quickly move over to our first example to understand this concept better okay now let's quickly move over to the first question under this aspect and it is a saturated solution of na2co3 this is sodium trioxocarbonate 4 contained 60 grams of na2co3 dissolved in 500 cm cube of water at 40 degrees Celsius. Express the solubility of this salt in moles per dm cube. So they are asking us to calculate the solubility in moles per dm cube. Now, it must be noted when solving questions on this aspect, temperature is not needed. I know we saw temperature in this question, but we are not going to use it. We don't need temperature whenever we are solving questions on solubility. Okay, it, they just bring it there so as to make us confused, but it's very easy. We don't use temperature. Now, what is the formula? Recall, the volume, this is volume, this is volume. So let's bring it out. This is volume. Okay, this is the mass of the salt. Okay, this is the molar mass of the salt. Now, you can see that the volume is in cm cube. So, which of those formulas are we to use? Is it the one with 1,000 or the one without 1,000? It is the one with 1,000. Recall, I told us, whenever the volume is in cm cube, use add 1,000 to the formula. So, it becomes solubility in moles per dm cube will not be equal to mass according to the formula we earlier saw, times 1,000 over molar mass times volume. And now, the volume is in cm cubes. So that is why we are actually added 1,000. So basically, what will be solubility in moles per dm cube? What will be the solubility in moles per dm cube? The mass is of 60 grams. So we just put, put it there, 60 grams times 1000 over what's the molar mass of the salt 106 grams per mole times volume what 
is the volume of the water it is 500 cm cube so when we press our calculator the solubility in moles per dm cube of the salt becomes 1.132 moles per dm cube so this is the answer to this question it is very easy recall whenever your volume is in cm cube add 1000 if the volume is in dm cube remove 1000 so let's quickly move over to the second question now let's quickly move over to the second question for the day now if you check this ca question carefully you can see that the volume given is in dm cube so are we adding 1000 to the formula or removing 1000 we are removing 1000 so basically the question is still, is still asking us to calculate solubility in moles per dm cube of cuso4 so what is the mass given in this question it is 24 grams this is the mass what is the volume this is the volume and the volume is in dm cube so we don't use we are not using 1000 in the formula and also let us calculate the molar mass of the compound cuso4 what is copper atomic mass 64 what is sulfur atomic mass 32 what is oxygen atomic mass 16 how many atoms of oxygen do we have four times four so what are we getting 160 grams per mole so let us quickly calculate the solubility the solubility in moles per dm cube of the salt so the formula since the volume is in dm cube we are not using 1000 so it becomes just mass over molar mass times volume in dm cube so solubility in most per dm cube of the salt becomes what's the mass the mass is 24 grams over molar mass which is 160 grams per mole times the volume which is 0 0.35 so when we hit this in our calculator, the answer we get becomes 0 0.429 moles per dm cube. So this is how questions under this aspect are being tackled. Now let me quickly put the question you practice with and you provide the answer in the comment section below before we move over to calculation of solubility in grams per dm cube. Now this is the third question and this question you'll be solving it and you provide the answer in the comment section below now you can see in this question they are not asking us now to calculate for solubility solubility is already given what they are asking us to calculate for is mass so you have to be smart what you just simply do is to make mass subjects of formula in the question so you do so and provide the answer in the comment section below. So let's quickly move over to the last aspect of this video, which is calculation of solubility in grams per dm cube. Now let's quickly move over to the last part under this topic, which is solubility calculations. And basically you can see on the board, it is calculation of solubility in grams per dm cube. Now, it is not more per dm cube. It is gram per dm cube. So what are we going to do? Here, it is very easy. We just need to apply a very easy method. Now, recall, to calculate solubility in grams per dm cube, this is the formula. Solubility in grams per dm cube. This is the formula. It is simply mass times 1,000 over volume in cm cube now if this volume was in dm cube we remove 1000 but this volume is in cm cube that is why 1000 is included in the formula and secondly if you are if you check this formula carefully you can see it is similar to that of solubility in mole per dm cube but there's something missing which is molar mass so to, to calculate for solubility in grams per dm cube just remove molar mass from the formula which is for solubility in moles per dm cube you get the formula for solubility in grams per dm cube and this is the formula recall when volume is in dm cube remove 1000 
if volume is in cm cube add 1000 as seen in this formula now let's quickly just solve an example under this aspect okay now this is the last question we'll be solving for this video lesson if you are here you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe and also share these videos with your friends now you can see on this question it says a saturated solution of Na2SO4 contains 40 grams of same compound dissolved in 500 cm cube of water at 40 degrees Celsius. So the question is now saying express the solubility in grams per dm cube. Recall, I told you guys that to solve this is very easy. It is similar to that of mole per dm cube. But for grams per dm cube, we simply remove a parameter. And what is that? Molar mass. So what is the formula for solving solubility in grams per dm cube? It is very easy. And it is simply mass times 1000. Why am I adding 1000? This is because the volume given is in cm cube. If the volume given was in dm cube, we simply remove 1000. So over volume, just volume. I'm not adding molar mass again because this is solubility in grams per dm cube. So what will be our answer? So let's impute parameters. Solubility in grams per dm cube. What is the mass given? 40 grams times 1000. What is the volume? The volume is 500 cm cube. You can see here we don't have any business with the molar mass. I, they just gave us here so as to confuse us, but it's very easy. We don't need molar mass. So when we simply hit this in our calculator, we get the answer to be 80 grams per dm cube. So this is how questions on that solubility are being tackled. I believe now you now understand this concept better. So if you are here, you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. Thank you very much. God bless you all.